Zoe here. Welcome to another episode of Zoe's Diary. So I'm just cleaning up my mess that I just made from filming my December favorites video. I had a lot to show you guys because December is my birthday month and Christmas month. So there's a lot of goodies that I shared with you. And okay, I just thought that I just felt like filming out this Zoe's Diary video and I have an exciting next uh, 24 hours ahead. I'm going to be leaving for Denmark and I stopped in Belgium first so it's gonna be like three countries one day so I thought that it'd be kind of fun to document and I also have a really good lunch for today so I kind of wanted to show you guys that too obviously it's, it's all about the food here yeah um, I was just trying to think about a couple little things I wanted to chit chat to you guys about and one thing that I noticed this morning is that when I was on my YouTube channel, I decided to count how many videos it was that I'd already produced or published on YouTube this year. And it was something like 156. And it's not even the year's end yet. And I don't even know when I'll be posting this one, hopefully for you guys by the end of the week. It is December 22nd today. And I did that many videos in one year. I kept consistent with either two to three videos a week. If I, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be where I am now. So if you guys are thinking about starting a blog, starting a YouTube channel, starting that business, you have your fresh start here. You have 2017 right around the corner, so make an effort to do it. Just start now. You don't even have to wait until 2017, start now, because it's possible, okay? If, if you really are passionate about something, you owe it to yourself to do it. And I'm so happy and so proud of myself for producing all those videos. and. 156 videos sounds like so many videos, right? It sounds so much time and effort to film and edit, and yeah, it was, but I loved every second of it. I'm so passionate about it that it doesn't it doesn't matter. Making videos for you guys, chit-chatting with you guys, everything about this platform, I absolutely love. It's definitely a passion of mine. And I know I don't have, you know, millions of subscribers or anything, but it just brings me so much joy to have all of you and to make these videos. It really is fun for me, so, I'm glad that you enjoy it. The majority of you anyways enjoy it. So it makes me happy. I just wanted to talk about that right now because if there is something like a YouTube channel, like a blog, like I've told before, don't let your limiting beliefs follow you into 2017 with you, okay? We're gonna leave them at the door. We're gonna kick them in the behind and leave them back there. <laughs> anyways, okay, so I'm gonna put these things away. We're going to make lunch and I also want to show you guys a couple of things that I am subscribed to via email. There's not too many things that I'm subscribed to but I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys that today. And I'm going to keep this little Roman part of the video short because I know we will be traveling a lot tomorrow and I'm going to film a lot for you guys and I don't want this video to be excessively long because I can get a little chit chatty as you know. So I'm going to put these away and let's eat. Ciao friends, so how good does this bowl look? Do you like my little heart that I put in there? Cause I love you guys so much. I do, I really do. And okay, so what I'm eating today is lentils with rice, basmati obviously. I used three quarter cup, that's how much I normally make. Then I did up a little bit of spinach with some pepperoncino, add some greens into that. I'm really excited to dig in, but of course it's a little bit hot. Oh, I guess I should let you know how the lentils were prepared. My host mother made them and she made them from the bag, they're not from the can and I didn't realize how easy it is to make them from the bag because I previously just bought my beans and lentils and cans and I highly recommend going and getting them in the bags and making them that way. Sorry, it's like a little bit shadowy. I'm trying to, trying to hold the camera. But yeah, it's a lot easier than I thought and now once I kind of go back home, well, whatever, wherever I find out where home is, <laughs> I'm going to start making them that way because it's a lot better for you, no preservatives, things like that. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to cool down, I'm going to share with you guys the emails that I'm subscribed to. Okay, so the first one I want to mention is Notes from the Universe. So these are daily emails written to you by the universe. And when you first sign up, you explain what your goals are, what your dreams, what you would like to see happen. And then every day you get cute little notes like this. So I'll read this to you because I'm not sure if it's going to focus. Zoe, haven't you always found your way? Hasn't there always been a light in the darkness? Haven't you always gotten back up? Haven't there always been serendipitous surprises, unexpected twists and triumphant comebacks? And haven't you always had someone to love? Coincidences, or maybe do you think you too have always been loved? Yours, the universe. 
So this is my favorite subscription that I'm subscribed to. You know, I'm, I'm into spirituality and the universe and I just feel like these little notes, they truly put a smile on my face and I look forward to receiving them every day. And they always make me smile and say if I woke up and I was in the best mood or something was currently upsetting me and I read these and it just makes me so happy. It puts a smile on my face. So I definitely recommend subscribing to Notes from the Universe, which actually was recommended to me by a subscriber. Thank you. You know who you are. Like, ugh, it just makes me so happy. Thank you. There's a few other notes that I had put aside here to show you guys, but I think you'll get the gist. I think you should subscribe yourself because it's not spammy. You don't feel like you're being sold something. You just genuinely have some supportive motivation every single morning. It's great. And then another thing I wanted to show you guys that I'm subscribed to is Seth Godin's blog. I've spoken about Seth Godin before. He is author of Lynchpin, which is one of my favorite books. And Seth posts blogs every single day, and then you get emailed to them. Sometimes they're short. Sometimes they're only a sentence or two, and sometimes they're a paragraph or two. To be honest with you guys, I don't read all of them, but I do read probably at least five a week. So this is one that I have saved from November 24th and it says choose better, more honest, more caring, more generous. It's all a choice, isn't it? We can choose to dream bigger, connect better, and, and contribute better. Sometimes in the rush for more, we get confused about what better means and how attainable it is. So he, he's very wise. He gives you something to think about every single day. And I think that if you guys are looking to create a more positive, motivational, just well personal well-being in 2017, definitely consider subscribing to Notes from the Universe and Seth Godin's blog because so many insights and I just find that I'm always learning, I'm always discovering new things and even new words too. Seth is quite wise, like I said, and he, he'll drop a couple of those big words in there and then you go and you go Google them and you find out what they mean. I'm going to dig into my a beautiful love dish of lentils and basmati, and I gotta go pick up the bambini from school, and then before I know it, it's gonna be tomorrow, I'm gonna be on a plane. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys, let's go. everybody I made it I'm in Denmark and it's absolutely beautiful and so cozy and I'm speaking a little bit quiet because I'm going to tell you what I got my family for Christmas so today is the 24th of December and in Denmark and I believe in most of Scandinavia or all of Scandinavia they celebrate Christmas on the 24th at midnight so I'm going to show you what I got my family my plan was to get them a bunch of really amazing and my favorite Italian food so that they'll like Italian food so much that they'll come visit me. <laughs> okay, so obviously we got a lot of spaghetti here and these are the little care packages that I put together with these little owls. This is wood and it's from some Italian trees. <laughs> and inside is the pepperoncino, some truffle, some amazing Italian dark chocolate. This is another care package and we have a new baby in the family. So there's a blanket in here, some adorable shoes and a sweater. I hope my family loves it and I'm just so happy to be here and I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will be sharing more of Denmark and then Amsterdam with you guys. So all the very best to you and your families. Happy holidays, whichever holiday you celebrate and I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye.